Okay, so today we are doing Mishle 2024, which is going to sound familiar, not as a, uh, maybe not as a Pasuk, but the phrase should sound familiar. Nehashem uh, mitzade gavir v'adam mayavin darka. Anyone want to take a stab at a working translation? First of all, even without translating, does it does it ring a bell? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we say that in uh, Brachos. Yes, we say that in Brachos, right? So this is the so it's Machlokus Rishonim on what is the source pasuk for the Bracha of Brachos Mokim Vachlam Hamechem Yitzadei Gaver. This is one candidate, and I think the other candidate is a pasuk in Tehillim. Um, but so as a side mission, as a side quest, I would like to after we understand this in Mishlei, see if it sheds light on Brachos. You know, because if we say it every day, you could wait to like reinforce ideas, you know? Okay, but what's the translation or, or what would the working translation be? From I mean, God are the steps of man. Okay. And perhaps that Suadam is what to understand in his way. Okay, uh, just a second here. I know how you are, but the last is I'm just gonna. Okay, thanks. Um, sorry, I didn't hear the second half. And Perhaps like right, two of them is what to understand the way. Okay, what does he did you say what does he understand? What what two understand? What where are you getting the two from? I that's the same brackets. Oh, okay. I thought you said the two man. Yeah. Is in brackets. Like four yeah, four man is to understand. Okay, okay, four men that's the is to understand his how do you say Derek? Way. His way. Okay, yeah. Okay, from God are the steps of man, and okay, anyone want to amend that or propose another uh, translation here? Okay, so let's look at the guys. Okay, Matus uh, Sion, first of all, says Mitzade is Miderech Haregel or Midrach Haregel. I don't know if Midrach is even a word, but he Kitsado. Okay, so that means steps, all right, steps or footsteps. Um, and if you look at, uh, skip side, you go in for a second. Okay, look at the Targum, Min Kadam Adashem Hilchase de Gavra, Gavra we know, right? From uh, before Hashem is the, the goings, the going of, of man, Ubar Nasha Lo Mizbayan Orchase, and, uh, and a man, Lo Mizbayan Orchase. How do you translate that? Does not, Does not understand his way. So. In light of that, how would you retranslate the Pasuk? Or how is he understanding the, the, the translation of the Pasuk? Well, the second half of the end, like, and then what does he understand? Yeah, what does he understand of his way, right? So it's like a rhetorical question. Yeah. Uh, here, just one second. Yeah, okay. Um, right, so Targum Ksuvim says, from before Hashem is the, is the going of man, uh, but man does not understand his way okay uh okay now look at side you going and you'll tell me what he's doing differently okay hashem tikinus mitade ha'adam so from hashem tikinus mitade ha'adam how would you translate that say again improvements okay improvements is fine uh like lasakin yeah set up improvement it could be other of those right so from hashem is the let's say I, I like setup okay is the setup of the footsteps of man umaha adam mevin midrachav ah okay that's what i thought also right now how did you get, get that because i'm realizing uh that it, it, it's it, it does seem ambiguous Okay, yeah. So I also read it that way. I, even if that's not uh, what the Sadigon is saying, it did. It is an ambiguity in the pasuk, right? Meaning, who's the his? Is his the derech of man, or is it the derech of Hashem? You know. Um, but he says, and what does man understand of? So the, the thing he does change drachav is he says ways, right? Instead of way. I don't know if that makes any big difference, but apparently, like he felt the need to to change it. So what does man understand of his ways? But I'll, I'll put it here, his uh, slash capital H-I-S, yeah. Uh, isn't it implying here that man does understand something of his ways? Um, 
I don't know, right? Because can, can you also read it um, rhetorically? And what does man understand of his ways? Okay, yeah. So it's, it's preserving the ambiguity in the pasa. No. I think, right? What does mitzadi mean? Mitzadi means footsteps or steps. Oh, yeah. And so I, I just looked it up on the uh, Allah Torah uh, translation. It says mitzad means step or at his heels or in his train. Okay. Um, I think it's the midrachav. Midrachav. Meaning midrachav of his ways. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think so. I, okay. You mean that's where you, we, we both got that it's God's ways? No. Or that's, that's why you're saying it's. Uh, yeah. That's, that is understanding. It is understanding. Yeah. It's when you're saying midrachav from his ways. But you understand part okay. of his ways. Okay. Yeah. I think it's still ambiguous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so art just to get the uh, the other translations out here. Art school says a man's steps are from Hashem, but what does a man understand of his way? Ca lowercase h. Living Knox says the steps of man are from God, but for what does a man understand of his own way? So that's taking a firm stance. It's his own way. Alter says from the Lord are the steps of man, and how can a person grasp his own way? Okay, so I don't think there's anything that's added in those translations that we don't already have. Yeah. Okay, so what are the questions? So can we just translate the, the full Pasuk one more time? Uh, yeah, so the full Pasuk is from God are the steps of man. That part seems clear. And then the second half, there's different readings. And man, what does he understand of his way, lowercase h? Okay. Or, and man, what does he understand of his way, uh, uppercase h, God's way? Um, and what were, what were the other ways to say it? Didn't we have another, one that was not a rhetorical question at first, or was that just our ignorance? And now we're convinced this way. Um, no, okay, right. So this is a pretty good we're doing a rhetorical question here, right? What does man What does man understand of his way? I mean, it doesn't have to be rhetorical, but it is a question, right? Okay. Yeah. So his other gods or him. either God's or man's own way. Yeah, yeah, Isaac. I was going to confirm both. I was going to just say what Ariel said. So okay, yeah. all right, okay, yeah, Avi. Um, just this is not uh, specifically a question on the Pasuk, but yeah. I feel like in the past we would try to translate the Pasuk and then go straight to questions before we went to any of the... We were not going to aim a Farshim. We were going to our minimalist translation of Farshim. Yeah, yeah. So we're still we're sticking with the program. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what are the questions and problems? What are the footsteps of man or the steps okay. of man? What are the steps of man? Yeah, okay. What does it mean that they're from Hashem? Yeah, what does it mean that they are from Hashem? Okay, yeah. What does it mean to understand one's ways? Okay, what does it mean to understand, uh, I'll just say Darko so we can preserve the ambiguity here, right? Um, yeah. Well, oh, I guess we should also ask what is Darko, yeah. right? And then what does it mean to understand? Yeah, also, that's like, in order, yeah. What's the relation to this puzzle? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, here we go. What is the relationship between the two halves of the Pasuk? How okay. can man not understand his own ways? How can man not understand his own way? Yeah. That's either being asked in a, uh, yeah. <laughs> if if yeah. he doesn't learn Mishlai. <laughs> it, it, I can't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> raise your hand if you understand your own way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, People don't. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's why I didn't put my hand up. If, if you think you do, that means you don't. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, but obviously this is going to be contingent on what we mean by understanding, right? Uh, like what level of understanding and what we mean and, by uh, way. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the audience? Okay, yeah, who's the audience? Now, this is, who are you inclined to say is the audience? I'm still pointing it because it's a good question. But People trying to figure out their way. Okay, right. So either man in general or people trying to figure out their own way. Definitely but not God. Definitely not God. This is, yeah, <laughs> you don't need to tell, you don't need to teach God initially. Um, but uh, but yeah, but this is one of these sukkim where it's stated in a generic enough way, and it's about man. So you might think it's for everybody, but for all we know, it could be a specific person. And I think, in other words, I, I'm, I'm trying to draw out a methodology thing here, which is that we shouldn't automatically assume it is about all man just because the puzzle says man. It could be about a specific audience, and puzzle is not saying it. You know, um, and the fact that the first half of puzzle is seems to be saying something somewhat specific. Or... Yeah. I mean, we don't know what it's saying, but it, 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 it's narrowing it down from just all men that doesn't look good. Okay, yeah, well, here's the thing also, right? Uh, if, if, you, uh, if, you're a, if you're the Malden and you care about, like, uh, synonyms, oh. you know, 
what might you say about the puzzle that indicates that it is about a specific, like, specific audience, not all mankind? Gavir, right? Gavir, Gavir is a, like, there's like, I feel like there are terms about men that are generic species terms like Adam and Enosh, you know, uh, and like Ish. Gavir is like, how do you translate Gavir, like, if you're translating it specifically? The Gibor, like the strong. You say guy? Yeah, guy is a good English word for it. Yeah, what? Oh, like the Gibor, like, you know, his yeah. strong, you know. Right, mighty, strong, heroic, something like that, you know, like, like from the Gura, like from strength, you know. So, like, you could say that it's talking about that guy, you know? Yeah, David? Uh, what is the good and understanding one for where they're going? Okay, so I'm actually just gonna write this question first. What, if anything, is uh, is implied by Gever? Okay, and then you're saying, what is the good of understanding uh, Darko? Yeah. Oh, interesting. So like, so then what's the difference between Gever and Adam? Yeah, okay, good. So what, if anything, is implied by Gever? And if it is, a significant term. What is uh why does the second half switch to Adam? Okay. Yeah, Yago. Oh, first, yeah. oh, first half is from God are the steps uh, from Hashem are the steps of man. From yeah. Hashem are the steps of yeah, or footsteps of man. Of God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know my glasses stuff. The other way was that. It's like the Mitzadi Gaver from God, so to what you can understand is from God. Oh, interesting. Let me just read that. Mehashem Mitzadi Gaver, the Adam. Uh, yeah, how are you reading it? Like, my legs and like what's you can like whatever small amounts you can understand. Yeah. Is from Hashem. Okay. So the Adam Ma Yavin Darko Mehashem. Meaning the Mehashem is going both. Okay, I hear that. Yeah. All right. Do we have all this? Uh, yeah. Just to push the David's question further about the, um, I could you scroll down actually to the questions? Yeah, yeah. Um, not just what is the good under what is the good of understanding Darko, but also what's the practical implication of the puzzle? Okay, yes, yeah. right. So, um, what are what is the practical implication of the puzzle? Yeah. Okay. By the way, I think I am going to buy an adapter so I can put the TV here so we can see. The that was question, so yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, I have a screen, yeah. I have another screen if you want to. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I think since we got the uh, the donation of the screen, then uh, I think that's going to be better just as this is higher up. Oh, I think yeah, so, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's downstairs in the uh, in the office, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. yeah. I didn't realize yeah. This. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lisa Fader donated the Lumdeha one, yeah. Um, okay, so are we now? Oh, and then and then let's just list our question as a side question, which is. Uh, what uh, does this have to do with the bracha uh, we say? Okay, right, meaning that, it, assuming that this is the basis of that bracha, it'd be nice to understand that. I'm just listing it, even though it's not a question on the process. Uh, yeah, and when, what, what's the machayev of that bracha? When you walk, yeah. So I actually asked a Shiloh about this. Yeah, so then I asked a Shiloh about that for years. I thought it was when you like go on your way. Yeah, and I I asked a Shiloh, and Rebbe said it's just when you walk. Get out of bed. When you yeah, or, or when you no. So when you get out of bed and put your feet in the floor, that's that's uh um uh Rokahar, so, uh, the, Yeah, wait, hold on. I I can't. I have to. Rokahar is all mine. Rokahar is all mine, and then Zokif Kufi was when you stand up, and then when yeah. you walk, then it's something from Yisrael Gaver. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, so if we can understand like what this has to do with that, or if we can use that as a parish on this, you know, because I'll also knew Michelet. <laughs> yeah. All right. But let's, let's try to, to uh, figure out the puzzle now. What do we say? I'm just going to move these down. I don't mind. Yeah. Also, the yeah. uh, the translation. Yeah. That's okay. We try to keep it real, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, any uh approaches? You could just say Ma Yavin Darko and then just leave the sheer. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So which half is easier? Second half. Really? <laughs> Go right ahead. <laughs> well, I mean, I just, I, I don't know. I guess like on like face value, like, yeah, like people don't really understand their ways. Oh, uh, okay. Going on. Yeah. I guess, so why, did, why does everyone else say that the second half is harder? Or the first half is easier? Like the second half is harder to tie in uh -huh. with the first half, but as like a standalone thing, it's yeah. an easier concept. I okay. I, I, I hear that. Yeah. Uh, I think. Okay. So we got, okay. We got one interpretation so far, right? Which is that literally like the ability to take footsteps is from Hashem, meaning the design of the foot and all that other good stuff, right? Um, there's actually one of the Mepharshim on Tefillah um, says that, that that's what the Pshad of the Pasuk is, and that's what the Bracha is on. Is he Like, he goes into the whole thing about how, like, um, I forgot, I don't know how much they knew about the foot back then, but about how, you know, the I think one example he gives is he says, like, the, the bottom of the foot is hard enough that you can walk barefooted and not just, like, cut up your foot, but it's soft enough that you feel stuff, you know, uh, unlike, let's say, a, a hoof or something like that, you know, and like, there's obviously stuff in the balance. I think people say stuff about the big toe, right? Isn't the big toe a thing? Like, if you don't have a big toe, you just like fall over, right? There's like some like crazy, like thing that you wouldn't think that the big toe is that, uh, that important. Cool. Yeah, David? I haven't thought in the whole bunch of the Okay, hold on a second. Um, so did you, so j just to, is it on along these lines or different lines? Okay, so let's just, I want, I, I, I like taking the, um, the um, fishing approach of like, you feel uh, a tug on the, uh, on the, on the line and let's just try reel this one in first and then, and then go on. So if you take that, okay, as the first half of the Pasuk, what, what would, you, would you say about the second half? Question yeah. So I guess, I guess if you're trying to emphasize mobility, you know, like the, the right, the only, well, the reason why I'm going with that, and I don't know if you got this from the, did, was this sparked by the Chazal and the Baruch HaTashachar thing that you say the Baruch when you walk? Um, it's the word Mitzadeh. yeah, yeah. Because I, I was thinking more like, if this is the Baruch if this is the Shevach we say, upon walking then yeah you could say it's just on the foot itself but like it's the use of the foot or the good of the foot you know the function of the foot that like is that warrants the sheva you know um so that, that i was thinking about it and, and also because i knew that that uh that commentary on tefillah so like you know um yeah uh yeah so what would the vadamati <laughs> avinjarko mean first of all does this suggest derech with darko with a lowercase h or an uppercase h you feel like it goes either way? I lean more towards uppercase. Okay, yeah. So so let, let's try that approach and, and what would we say there? Did you say like, like, yeah. Maybe you would think about it. Like footsteps are a thing, it's like simple. You might take them for granted, but really they're, they're from a shem and you can't even understand how like well-designed or something like that, this, this simple act is. Okay, so that's that I feel like is one approach, right? Which is that, on the one hand, you realize we re, we know enough about the well. We know our premise walking into all this is that Hashem created the human body, you know, but that we're acknowledging Hashem's role in creating uh, the foot. But there is a very small amount that we could actually understand of that Fakma, you know. That would be a way to go if you wanted to say it's uppercase H. Any other approach for that, or if you want to say lowercase, yeah. Uh, lowercase. Yeah. Uh, just like a person who walks, they don't really know how it's how it's working biologically, physically. Yeah. They just you know will and they're walking. Yeah. So too when they you know walk, they're there. Uh, yeah. They don't really know what they're doing. They're just going along. Yeah. Uh, anyone uh, who's listened to the James Walker debates, Rabbi Chait, Sheer? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So this is the uh, for those who don't know, this is the uh, this. Um, uh, Southern, I forgot where he was from, the Southern, um, Tennessee. was he from Athens, Tennessee also? Because I know the Bidane yeah. group was, and right? oh, so wow. from Tennessee, so this, this, uh, uh, this Reverend James Walker from Tennessee, who was uh, accusing, uh, saying that Bidane Noach was a cult, you know, and he gave this whole speech about, like, in his church for cult awareness, and had a whole thing about, uh, you know, about, like, warning Christians about Bidane Noach, so then, then Rebbe, made a rebuttal you know and the whole shear is a this is the first ttl here that i ever listened to 
in 12th grade and Josh Licht is the one who recommended it. And he said, it's like watching a boxing match, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and it was, uh, it was, uh, Revy basically like plays the, you know, the James Walker things and then responds to each of the points. And so there's a thing where, where this is a tangent, but it's a fun tangent. There's, there's a thing where, where James Walker is talking about the Trinity. Okay. And he says like, you know, people will say that, like, how can he be God, the God and the son of God and like the, the, the three are one. And he says, there are lots of things I don't understand. For example, when you get on a plane, you know, something about the, uh, the, 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 the lift drag coefficient. I don't know how planes work. I just get on and fly. That was the line. I just, I don't know how they work. I just get on and fly. And then, and then Revy stops the safe and he says, according to Mr. Walker, as long as there is one phenomenon in the universe he doesn't understand, then all illogical ideas like are, are plausible. You know, like this, that's the guy's argument. I don't understand planes and I get on them and fly. I don't understand the Trinity and it must be true. You know, like, yeah. So uh, you remind me, of, I mean, I'm not invalidating your idea. Your idea is good. Is that, that, that but that, that was James Walker's point is like people use planes and they have no idea how it works, you know? Or like there, I saw there's a cartoon that said uh, how planes work and it's this diagram of a plane. And there are all these like arrows going above and beneath wings that just say magic, 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 magic. You know? <laughs> that, I think that's how like we think of these, uh, these things, you know? So, so it would be saying that it comes from Hashem, but man has no understanding of his own like operation, right? Like how, how his, his own like mobility works. Okay, now there's one last step that we need in order to finish this approach, which is what is this doing in Mishle? You know, there's like David's question of, either what would be the good in understanding man's way? Like I understand like from a Yedias Hashem perspective or like Avas Hashem, but in a, in a book about decision-making, which is the approach we take to Mishle, what is the point of this? Yeah. What's that definition, Derek? So the way we're saying, so if you said Derek Hashem, that's referring to like the Chachmas Hashem in creation, right? Which I'm less inclined to take simply because it's not, it's like less Mishleic, but I'm open to it still, you know? If you're saying it's lowercase h, it means like um, man's, it's just another synonym for halicha. Like, what does man understand of his own like going, you know? It's like literally going or going like, like psychological organs? I think literally the way that we're taking it, if mitzade is like the literal like walking of the foot. Oh, you're thinking psychology. Yeah. So then you're going to have to work harder to unify the two halves then, which is fine. But we'll, we'll, how do you unify the two halves then? I was assuming you meant literal walking just because that's what the first half you were saying was talking about. And I agree that man doesn't understand his own psychology, but then that, what does that have to do with the foot, you know? What was the, uh, wait, hold on, is there a thing, I know there's, phrenology was the thing that they believe that um, the skull, like, chronology, physiognomy. Okay, physiognomy is the face thing, right? The skull, like it, different. Yeah, there's really different. Measure the shape. Of the yeah, skull. yeah, what, that's called. I think it's chronology. Like from cranium? Yeah. Yeah. Chronology. So is there a thing like that for feet? Or I'm imagining this, like that reflexology is based on, and that's why reflexology is like a pseudoscience. I'm, that I'm like yeah, all of man's psyche is like contained in the foot. I was gonna say like if you wanted to take that approach, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. But they like make inferences about. It's, it's like a horse type of okay, yeah, that, that's the thing I'm referring to. That, yeah, I yeah. No, no, it's not. But like I, I was thinking, like if you're gonna say like Darko psychology. Uh, that would be one approach, even though I don't, I, I don't think it's good. <laughs> yeah. But can, can we say Derek is psychology and tie it into the literal foot thing in some way? And when we say psychology, when you, let me just make sure I understand what you mean when we say psychology. You mean like, like you don't just mean like the study of the, uh, of the psyche. You mean like man's Derek, like in terms of, of how man operates or like how he, Behaviors, yeah, he right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Debbie, you had an approach on that? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Not on that, just a different approach on the front uh, let, let's, let's, let's finish this one first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, maybe you could say that, like, it's, it's kind of like, it's saying that, um, like, if, if, it, mm, um, <laughs> that, like, man doesn't know, like, the, the way, like, the specific ways that, like, his physical body works. So, yeah. Like, for sure, like, you know, like, how is he going to know, like, his psyche or, like, the way his mind works? Oh, okay. So it's a coach game. Okay. That, yeah. that, that's a good one. That's a good one, right? Is that, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, this is a good one. Hold on just a second here. Yeah. I always, not always. I wish I always thought this. I, 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 I often think this when you see, like, people making, um, kind of like pop psychology type, uh, 
um, absolute statements, you know, and uh, and when you realize just how little we know about the most basic physical functions right. of our body, you know, then like how can, how can you? I, I'm not criticizing people for like trying to investigate the psyche, but the confidence of just like clearly we know how the human brain works. No, you don't even know how the foot works. You know, like uh, I, I hear an argument like that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and even that's an argument that's plausible for even Shlomo Melech to have held because right. they definitely realize whatever the knowledge of, I know psychology as a modern thing is like, like 150 years old or whatever, but they knew that there's like inner workings of the mind or of behavior. Right. And, and I, that Kolsch gain is like within his grasp, you know? Right. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that reads into the positive. It's definitely not the most intuitive read of the positive. Me Hashem Mitzadeh Gaver Adamaya Vindarko, but it's also not impossible. Right. Like it's not like I don't think it's a like a super stretch. It's, right. You know, it's just not an intuitive read. Yeah, um, yeah. there's different different levels of uh, yeah. plausibility and misleading interpretations. Um, I had one more that uh, had one more thought here. Oh, another possibility, and maybe this is deviating. Um, no, this is deviating. There's also another approach. David's in line next. Right. Yeah. I love yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You want to give, okay. Sure. So, so, uh, so we're going we're gonna to just take this, put it on the back burner, right? So we're going to call this the physical foot approach. Okay. All right. Yeah. Back number two. Back to, to reading and passive. So talking about men's steps, like the way that men is going to be going. Yeah. Not in a physical way and more in like in a abstract way of God knows how we work in like ways like what is the way that man will go about things and we don't understand how we're going to go like we're very much like walking in the dark while god is walking or he's like leading us yeah so if you want to take like things in a very practical way of if you're about to start going on a path be it i guess anything really there's like if you try to come and try to figure out on your own as a man like oh which way is going to be the way to go about things you don't know where it's going to be going god does have a set out way how you can how man walks and how man goes about things so in a practical way, you're best off figuring based off how God sets your path. Okay. Like trying to set your own path. Okay. So let me repeat what you're saying to make sure I understand it. So you're reading the Pasuk as may Hashem Gaver means that God basically gives direction to where man ought to go, like whether through how he designed man or giving the Torah or commanding or whatever it is, like the creator has a design for what what man should decide and where you should take his life but man just doesn't take that into account it tends to not take that into account or doesn't really have any like solid idea of where he's going it reminds me of the um uh there's an einstein quote that says uh uh perfection of means but confusion of ends characterize our age that basically like people are very 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 like everyone knows that like I'm, I'm saying this like in a facetious way. Everyone knows that you have to go to college to be successful, but no one defines what success is or like has any like idea about it, whether college is necessary for success, you know, or like, like people know that you have to make money, you know, and they, they're very good at like finding ways to make money, but they never actually question whether money is going to have anything to do with happiness, you know? So like that kind of thing. Is that, uh, is that how you're taking the Mesha Mitzade Gaver? My, uh, the autumn part, I understand, I think, but. Yeah. You can say no. <laughs> okay. Um, if that is how you're taking it, then I think my, I mean, anyone have any thoughts on, on that approach? Yeah. Or you, I mean, you could, I think you could fit both of those into that approach by saying man doesn't understand the Dera Hashem. Like, you know, well, I was thinking slightly differently that that if we're calling like the derech Hashem, meaning like the 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 plan that God sets forth for human beings, then and we're talking and the puzzle is about how man doesn't take that into account, then it can either mean man doesn't understand his own way, like why he does what he does and what he's supposed to be doing, or he doesn't understand God's way, meaning what God dictates for man to do. You know, I think they like they both fit in and it's the same idea. Uh, my reservation. I like the idea, but I feel like why would it emphasize footsteps of man if it's talking about the broad like picture for like destin like I feel like it's talking about like destinations or objectives or goals according to your idea if I'm understanding it right whereas footsteps is like in the micro like each step you know I had a maybe like a slight variation that I think helps answer that sure is like thinking of the footsteps of man as like 
the life cycle of men like how can you understand like sort of the different trajectories that are set up for man to live during their lifetime mm-hmm. and so then Adama Yavin Darko is like how like when you're faced with a new like life situation you don't necessarily know what's going to be in the future so you know you have to take that into account how is this uh so i understand the second half uh tell me once more how it is addressing footsteps for the first half oh because i was thinking footsteps is like sort of like the way a man's life normally goes like his life cycle uh-huh. is like the footsteps that hashem set out for him well he's trying to differentiate from path right i'm still not seeing it it's not clicking but something else clicked when you said that though and I don't know what the nimshal is yet, but if you want to say that the relationship between Mitzade and Darko is a derech is the thing you're walking on, and then the Mitzade Gaver are how you walk on it, then that would be like a, a viable mashal, you know? Like, so in other words, derech is not, I think we were taking derech as like your trajectory, and I'm saying that derech could just be the path that you're walking because derech does mean path. Yeah, Sean. Can I modify Isaiah's thing? Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. Okay. Um, it, there's definitely some relationship between Derek and Sadi Yeah. Right? So I would say like man has like a bunch of different options before him. Right? Yeah. And he doesn't know how any of them are going to pan out. Right. Yeah. He doesn't know like the um, ways in which like there's a bunch of different futures that he has before him. Yeah. Right. And he could take steps. In either oh, direction, okay. Right. And yeah. God knows like each step, yeah. Like, how each step leads along the way. Okay. But man may like see paths before him. Yeah. But he doesn't necessarily. He could also see like futures. Yeah. But he doesn't necessarily know the steps of how to get there. Okay. That I accept. <laughs> right. So let's let's just uh, now that we've had a three layer cake here, let's just try to tie it all into into one coherent uh, approach. So we're saying that. See, I'm I'm just questioning: is this is this a I know you stated it as a variant on Isaiah's variant on David's. I'm trying to see, is this a different idea than David's or not? I think, oh, I think it's actually, that seems more like where I, at least where my mind is okay. going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so do you want to take a stab at saying it in light of this explanation of Mitzade and Derek? See, this is me like shunting responsibility into someone else. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> so I'll say the way I, the way I understand it and see if it comes out co- uh, coherent. So like, um, okay, let, let me say the, the ambiguity here. I understood you to mean much more in terms of, of like what God intends for man. And in your idea, I'm not hearing so much what God intends. It's more about God's knowledge about where each step leads yeah 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 so so to, to re clarify where i was going i think more towards Sean direction. yeah uh so far as like also like being mentioned in a more practical way of like where each man's step will lead since we don't since we don't know where it's going to lead and god doesn't know where it's going yeah. to lead if we never get like a like a, a lead in by god yeah of like oh this is like a better way or like this is a way to go about things then try to follow that way instead of trying to like find your own and then try to go down somewhere from that. Is that any clear? It is clear. I'm just smiling because I, I still feel like that is not the approach you're taking. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I like just just to clarify what these two approaches are. Is Mehashem um, prescriptive or descriptive? Meaning you're saying it's prescriptive that like it should come from Hashem or should be dictated by Hashem, and you're saying no, God actually like god understands the footsteps of man but man doesn't understand the footsteps of man you know it's just describing the facts that like man man can see different like i think i can try to say your idea my understanding now i still not clear in yours man can see different options in front of him in terms of where he wants to go like i don't know let's just use career choices right like i could become like a uh you know, architect a lawyer or whatever you know but uh you know or i could like try to make a lot of money make a little bit of money but then um, he doesn't know the individual steps, how to get there, or if you take that step, whether it's actually going to lead there or someone else, whereas God has the full picture uh, on every single little step. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's, that, 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 that's at least one approach. Okay. Now, uh, yeah. Should we come back to yours? Yeah. <laughs> so, do you mind saying it one more time? Uh, Chans, you mean? Yeah. 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 So man has limited knowledge. And he has like ambitions and plans 
for like, I want to do this, or I want to do that, or I want to become this, or I want to become that. And that, but he, but he doesn't know which individual steps he needs to take to get there. Either because he doesn't know, like he just can't formulate a plan, or if he does take those steps, there's no way of him knowing that they're actually going to lead there. It might lead somewhere else or it might fail, you know? So God knows that man doesn't know that. And this is very Mishlea because this is a big mistake people make when they make decisions is that they have a, a vision of where they want to go. And then they have illusions that they know all the steps to get there, you know, and that certainty either makes them, you know, um, it messes up their, their, the, the probability when they're weighing options or, or just makes them like, I don't know, like, like distorts the way that they evaluate those options, like in terms of understanding them, you know, they might be so stuck in like, this is the only way to get there. Yeah. They like don't see other stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And therefore what would, just to finish this out, what would be then the practical advice? It it would just be being aware of this category of mistakes. Yeah. And and then like, you're not as like, but there shouldn't be so much confidence in like steps and like, there shouldn't be so much certainty in that. Like this is the way to get to a certain place that there are multiple different directions that a person can go in order to get to a place right and that they shouldn't be closing off their themselves too right so 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 functionally this will 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 result in constant reevaluation and constant flexibility Mm -hmm. you know um and constant self-critical examination of your thought process yeah you know because at the end of the day the Adam Maya of Indarco. You're you're not going to have this full picture, but you can guard. You can uh, you could guard against. What was the? Um, there's a website. I don't know. I've, I've never been on the website, but uh, people sent articles. I think it's called like like lesswrong.com or something like that. Uh, and you know, like that. That's the most we can do. You know, but yeah. you know, yeah, uh, yeah, Joe. Yeah, I was gonna say like to at least a person, you know, like analyzing their ways like, more frequently. I think on top of that, like as much as the person can analyze their ways, they're going to ultimately realize like, like it, like the over analysis can almost like seem to have the opposite effect. Like they're trying to gain more and more control. Oh, that's a good point. You can do is ultimately, no, you can't. Yeah. So that, that <laughs> it's made such time, you know, right. like, it, it's going to be what's going to happen. So th- that's a really good point because it shows the, uh, the Hilfos DOC type both extremes are bad thing, meaning you have the one form of the mistake where the person has um, so much confidence in his footsteps without analysis that he makes this mistake. And then you have the other person who in the process of analysis takes too much security. Like if I engage in the process of analysis, then I'll be able to get that security I crave. And that's just the other side of the same mistake. You know, you're going to, no, you're going to, you, the Adam Maya Vindarko is going to be the overarching, at the end of the day, you're not going to have full understanding of your way. And you just have to make the, take the best steps, uh, you know, given that uncertainty. Yeah. So Dario? Uh, yeah. We can still keep yours brewing, uh, but uh, just because we're in interest of, of, of time. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take a completely different approach. Completely. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to translate the uh, steps yeah. as a certain um, uh, execution. Okay. Versus the second half of the project is meaning to, I'm learning the last, second half of the project is a limitation. Okay. Just understanding his way, like versus also executing it. Like there's a difference between just having knowledge mm-hmm. and okay, using okay. that knowledge further. Your okay, plan. I got it. Yeah. You okay, know? good. So I think that um, the Darko here, in essence, is, um, you know, the proper you know, lifestyle that we should take. And God gave us that data, you know, through the Torah or through whatever. And it's your job to, you know, utilize it and not just understand it, but also mm. execute it okay. by, by fulfilling. It's like, it's like you could learn atomic habits. I'm 100%. You could learn atomic habits and just not do anything about it. Yeah. You have the knowledge, but right. not doing anything about it. Yeah. You could change your habits. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Versus just um, understanding it. Yeah. And also, I think the Gibor versus Adam is a Gibor in essence it can, you know, is, is a person who, you know, he has the strength or he has the ability to to do that versus a man who's just a simple guy who's just, you know, it's a lower, you know, called his. Okay. So let me, let me try staying the idea. Cause I get the idea more than I get the reading of the Pasuk. Okay. okay. Uh, and then, and then we could, if I, if I get the idea, then yeah. we could like, okay. So there's two things, there's theoretics and there's practicality. Yeah. So the theoretics, it's one thing to understand the theoretics and that's definitely good and it's definitely necessary, but if you don't implement it, then what's the good? 
Yeah. So, so, um, so that's like the main idea. But now in the Pasuk, you're saying, Adam Mayavin Darko means like basically, so what if a man understands his way? Yeah. If he's not taking the steps, then that's not what God wants. Mm -hmm. Something like that, right? Yeah. Is that like, May Hashem Gavar means that what God actually seeks is for you to, to, uh, Action. yeah, that's, that's like that Marcus Aurelius quote of, um, it's uh, stop talking about what it means to be a good man and just be one, yeah. you know, like uh, there, there, there's obviously you need to understand what a good, good man is in order to be one. But he means that there's a type of like spinning your wheels of just endless like theoretics or a, you convince yourself that the understanding is equal to the to the to the being, you know, um, that's like that debate in Chazal about what's better Talmud or Misa. And they say, um that Talmud is better because it leads to Misa, which seems like not, like seems like illogical, right? Because then, then you're saying Misa is better, you know? But the answer being that, you know, Talmud is better, but Tom, only Talmud that actually leads to, to Masa because it's an actual, because you're, it's a different Masa that comes from learning. And if you just do Talmud, like you just do learning, that's not, that's definitely not better, you know? Um, it makes me understand, wonder what the original question was, but yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, that's good. Okay. Any other like, uh, approaches? Cause we're clearly not going to have time to go to the Mepharshim today, but any other like approaches or thoughts? Just about what, um, you go ahead, Isaac. Oh, this isn't, this isn't an approach. It's just like, um, a comment based on what Ariel said. Sure. Um, does someone else have an approach? I don't want to. No. Oh, sorry. I, I, I just want to comment on one thing on Ariel saying, actually, no, you go first if it's on what Ariel saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, like, I've just found that like this year, um so this year I, you know I, i'm like i feel like i'm like applying what i learned in like the quote-unquote real world mm -hmm. um and um uh, it definitely has like like a different character to it than like um learning than just like learning in yeshiva mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah that's the uh unfortunate reality uh not unfortunate reality i mean it's unfortunate in the sense that you feel like you're actually learning stuff and then once you actually go into the practical realm, you're like, I was not like, I, 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 I couldn't prepare for this. You know, like, like there's, <laughs> there's a certain type, like, I'll give it an analogy. Like, like when I was in graduate school for teaching, half of my graduate school career was before I actually was in a classroom. And then the second half was when I was actually in a classroom. It's night and day. Like I felt like everything I was doing was just like textbook stuff. And then once I actually got into a classroom, it was just like the reality of, implementing this stuff hits you and you realize like, oh, I barely understood what was going on. You know, uh, I feel like life is probably a similar thing. I was going to, I think you made this point, but I just want to make sure I understand it. Dever implies action because that's what Gvura is. It's like action. Whereas Adam is more like theoretical, like, like just intellectual yeah, understanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's nice. Nice. No, no, but it's, it's a nice nuance though for the Adam thing. Yeah. Okay, so you want to let, let's uh, let this roll around, and then tomorrow let us uh, plan on going into the actual mafarshan and seeing what they say, and then hopefully applying it to tequila. What was your approach? I didn't have one. Oh. Yeah. Oh, because uh, just to refresh, uh, is that uh, we're we're gonna take the approach here where I'm not preparing like ahead of time. I'm gonna prepare just like like glancing at stuff, but I don't want to work. At least that was the request last year, right? Oh. To not work on it. Uh, you know. So yeah. Is it all of your mother nice. Uh, now yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just okay. A yeah. Quick thing. Sure. I think what the the RL's difference between Adam and uh, Gaver also yeah. fits with what I was saying, right? Which is that like the steps are the practicals. Yeah. Right. And like the like vision is. The, yes. Yeah. 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 That, that does fit with the muscle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Alrighty. Uh, have a good day. I'm gonna stop recording. Uh, Isaiah and Isaac, I have one question for you. Um, just one second. Let me stop recording.